We're back for another one today. Today we're gonna be comparing the Model 3 and the Model Y and the efficiency of the AC. Model Y has a heat pump. Model 3 has an AC. Which one's better in hot temperatures? Today it's about 90 degrees and we're gonna leave them out in the sun, run them both full blast and see which one uses more energy to cool it down. So they're both running full blast. It's hard to tell which one is louder actually. Model 3, it's pretty loud. Model Y, it's pretty loud as well. They both got below 70 degrees. I'm just gonna let them run for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll be able to check on Teslify, which one used more energy in that time frame. I did start the Model 3 first, so I will stop it first and then stop the Y. A little bit of shade cover here, not much. They're both mostly in the sun. So very little difference there, I think. So they're both around 60 degrees inside. The Model 3 is a little bit ahead of the Model Y. It has about 56 degrees right now, and the Model Y is around 63, uh, last I checked. So again, I did start the Model 3 first, so I would expect it to be a few degrees ahead of the Model Y, and that does seem to be the case. Uh, they're both cooling down pretty quickly, I would think. Uh, under 60 degrees is uh, definitely cold enough, I would say, on just about any day. And right now it's full sun and uh, a little over 90 degrees. So it's just been about 10 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn them both off, starting with the Model 3. Oddly enough, the sun came out a lot more and uh, the Model Y went up a degree. The lowest it got was 60 degrees and it went up to 61 when it got a little bit sunnier. So that wasn't uh, necessarily good. It couldn't quite keep up with the 60 degrees, although 60 is very cold. Uh, for 90 degrees outside uh, but the Model 3 is holding at 56 the entire time so that's a little bit different uh, they both went down very quickly but then like I said the Model Y stopped at 60 and the Model 3 stopped at 56 so that's a little difference so we'll turn them both off and then we'll check Teslify to see how much energy both of them used and see which one was better
So after all that, unfortunately, we do not have a conclusive answer. It appears that Teslify included uh, moving the car uh, in the total uh, efficiency of the AC. So unfortunately, this is gonna have to be repeated sometime again in the future. I definitely think once we get cold weather, there'll be a big difference. Uh, a win for the Model Y in that case, but with air conditioning, I would imagine since the Model 3 is uh, smaller, significantly smaller inside, and the heat pump is not probably any more efficient at um, cooling the car than the AC in the Model 3. So I, I would imagine that the they're probably gonna be very similar or the Model Y is gonna use a little more in the heat, but hopefully when we get to the winter, we'll have a better comparison. So, unfortunately, uh, we got 0.87 kilowatts used on the Model 3 and 1.04 kilowatts used on the Model Y in the same time. Again, not quite a fair test because some of that extra usage was on the Model Y for driving. Uh, just around the driveway, but still some extra use. So what do you think? Which one would be more efficient in the heat? The Model 3 or the Model Y? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.